Hello. Today we're going to walk through a very common reporting challenge that I see with a lot of organizations. The challenge is when you want to report on what percent of the total number of tasks a certain set of tasks that meet conditions are. So for example, what percent of SLAs have been breached? Or what percent of em changes were emergency changes? What you need to be able to do is report on how many there were that met a certain condition and then see what percent of that is of the total number of records. So for example, this is a report that shows what percent of all of our changes were emergency changes. And you can see that we're about 30% of our changes uh, are emergency changes, give or take. Or for example, what percent of our changes are being deployed overdue? So you can see here that this is something that's actually a little more concerning. Over time, more and more of our uh, changes are overdue until about 90% of our changes are overdue. Whether there's less changes or more changes at any given time is not as important as the fact that a large majority of them are overdue. And this could also be in other processes like the service catalog, where I want to see what percent of submitted requests were approved. There's a couple ways of being able to do that. If it's something where the field you're looking at can be used to categorize, it's fairly straightforward to do within Explore Analytics. So for example, this is the open incidents by priority, and I can see here the number of incidents by each category. And if I want, I can click on the value field, click the pencil icon, and give me that display as percent of total, or percent of row, or percent of column. So I'll select percent of total, and now I can very easily answer the question, what percent of all my incidents were critical incidents, about 15%. Often though you'll find that the question isn't as simple as just grouping on a particular field. You want to be able to set conditions to select what that particular category is that might be a little more advanced than just, you know, looking at this field. So we're going to walk through an example looking at what percent of SLAs are breached. So the way that we're going to do this is using Explore Analytics mashup capability to combine together two different reports. So I'm going to say give me a new view where our data source is ServiceNow, and in this case, we're looking at the task SLA table. And we're going to create a chart to see um, breached SLAs over time. So now it wants us to say what type of chart, and we're going to select a timeline chart so we can see how this metric we're creating has changed over time. And on the left, I can define that I want to look at this on a monthly basis. And it's giving me the count of how many SLAs there were, which I'm going to relabel to be breached SLAs for reasons that I'll explain in a moment. And now I want to filter this down to say, OK, I want to look at any SLA where has breached is true. And we want to look at a specific set of SLAs because there are some SLAs that we don't care about. So we want to look at SLAs in priority one, two, or three resolution. So now this is giving me the trend of all the SLAs that meet my particular condition. Now I want to compare this to all of the SLAs that were recorded. So I'm going to say make a copy. I'm going to call this all SLAs over time. I'm going to remove this has breached condition, and I'm going to relabel this to be all SLAs. You'll notice that we're still filtering on these particular you know, key SLAs, so you can still have conditions on the overall grouping. So now I have these two reports, one that's going to give me the breached SLAs, and one that gives me the total population of SLAs we're measuring. So now all I have to do to combine this is go to new mashup view and call this percent of all SLAs that are breached. And we're going to say breached SLAs over time and all SLAs over time. What this is doing is it's taking two separate queries that are both live against ServiceNow and it's combining them together into one report. So now I can see uh, in one report the total number of SLAs, 
and the breach decilase. Now again, this is where you can see why having a percent is a little bit easier than looking at the volume because the shape of these lines very much follows each other. It's very hard to tell whether the percent of breach SLAs is increasing or decreasing and you know whether how we're doing relative to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this calculator icon to say give me the breach SLAs divided by all the SLAs times 100 to give us percent breached. And now I'm not as in, uh, interested in those inputs, so for the moment I'm going to say keep only that percent breached. So now you can see that, for instance, in July 2015, almost 95% of our SLAs were breached, whereas in October, you know, two-thirds of our incidents were breached. So, you know, it's clearly something that we want to work on. Now, we can take this a, a step further. So now that we have this percent breach that we're tracking over time, I can go to File and say Create a Scorecard View on this view. I can see a quick indicator that's going to let people know where we are. I can see the shape of that curve. So now I can see that we're currently at 71%, which has gone up. And I can say that when the percent of breached SLAs goes up, that's actually you know, a, a negative. So we want to make sure that that comes up in red. So with just a few clicks, I now have a scorecard. It's actually live. It's drillable, where I can get to the data that's behind the, uh, the report. And from there, even drill in to look at the actual records that are behind that for any given period. And if I wanted to, even open up an individual incident from within that. Another thing I can do with these scorecards is I can go and say publish and have the live report published to service now. And that's going to create a content block that I can add to my service now dashboard uh, that can have a live uh, interactive view. I can click the add content, go to explore analytics, and here's my percent of all SLAs that are breached scorecard that I can add directly to my ServiceNow dashboard. So in this way, you can see that it's very easy for you with a few clicks to answer any question anytime you want to know what percent of total records a particular you know, set of, of conditions are, whether it's you know, emergency changes or approved risks project tasks that are overdue, budget items. Uh, it's really up to you, and you can very easily create that for yourself in a live, interactive way. Thank you, and for more information, you can come visit us on our website or view some of the other videos on similar topics.